Okay, so we have finished um, adding all the music to the music library. As you can see down here, we have 42,000 songs. Uh, yeah, almost 300 gigabytes of music. Um, we, I did not have any playlists for this particular um, batch of music, but just to, just to show you how it works, uh, we're gonna right click on music playlist, new playlist, and we're gonna say, uh, hip hop 2018. Um, so we're gonna take some Drake, put it in there. <clears throat> We're gonna take some J. Cole just randomly. And that is now in our hip hop library. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. <clears throat> We're going to open up Serato DJ. Now, because I have so much music, it is going to take a little bit longer for the iTunes library to load. And here is where iTunes, let me go ahead and click on this arrow. And here we have the new playlist that we just made. So as you can see, when I loaded it, I loaded Drake first, then I laid it, then I um, <clears throat> put in J. Cole, and I can choose the number order that I put it in there. I can do the BPM order, album. So that's a, one of the great things about it. <clears throat> so even if you make a playlist in Serato, and that playlist disappears magically. If you have a copy saved in iTunes, you don't have a problem. You'll have all of your playlists there. Um, I just want to show you guys one more thing because you can now, let's say you played a bunch of music. You could go into your history. I don't have any history in here, so I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh, here we go. I can now take these two songs, new playlist, and let's say I did a killer set Saturday, 
night. Okay. So there's nothing in there. But I can now go to my history playlist, drag it into Serato, I mean into iTunes, and those songs will show up in here. Um, so yeah, basically, whatever you create in iTunes while Serato's open, it doesn't live update. So if you wanted it, if you wanted the new playlist that you made to show up in Serato, you would then have to go set up library, show iTunes library. If you unclick this, let it do what it does and then click it back, everything that you just brand new did is gonna show up in your Serato. Um, not too smart to do while you're playing because that's where all your music is. But that's what that is. So, also these right here are from the external hard drive. So if I were to unplug the external hard drive right now, which I'm gonna do, let me close iTunes first. Because if you close, if you, if you have iTunes open and you disconnect the hard drive, iTunes will then be like, okay, there's no iTunes um, folders so I have to now make a new folder inside of the internal hard drive. The problem is next time you plug in your hard drive, Serato will have already made a new um, iTunes library in the hard drive and you're gonna have to tell it again to go to the hard drive. So make sure anytime you're dealing with your iTunes, you plug your hard drive in first, open iTunes, do your job, close iTunes before you eject. If you open iTunes and then plug in your hard drive, you may end up coming into problems when it's time to go to Serato because your iTunes will have changed your iTunes library media location.